Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to try to create the same track on the Yamaha RS7000 and on the Akai MPC-1. One of them is 20 years older uh, than the other one and both are groove boxes in the broadest term. So yeah, how do 20 years of technological advancement have impact on the user interface, the usability and the sound? Let's find out. So the RS7000 is ever so slightly bigger than the MPC as you can see here. It has lots of hands-on controls for all kinds of synth parameters like filter, LFO, effects and more. It also has a lot of buttons which among other things stand in as a keyboard. The screen is surprisingly big for the time and has a lot of information and graphical representation of audio data to share with you. The MPC, on the other hand, isn't exactly small by today's standards, but it's significantly smaller than the RS7000. It has a nice bright touch screen, which makes editing things convenient. There are also 16 pads for triggering notes and drums and samples, 4 encoders and 1 data entry wheel. The RS7000 uses Yamaha's AWM engine, which is subtractive synthesis applied to samples. As you can apply all those synth tools like filters, LFO, envelopes, effects and so on to your own samples, you will never run out of new sounds. The MPC offers virtual analog synth, a drum synth, an electric piano synth, plus a somewhat identical sampler synth, so sound creators will have a lot of things to work with here. The RS7000 has a SCSI interface and also a smart media slot. Both formats are obsolete by today, but there are USB converters around which will let you use modern storage media. The MPC has an SD card slot and one USB port, so importing existing samples should be no problem. And now let's begin by creating a drum track. I'll use the standard 4 to the floor beat here, first on the MPC, then on the RS7000. I'm using the MPC's drum synth for this track, which comes with a lot of preset sounds. I'm using the preset kit named Over It here. I'm using the step sequencer here, where each bar of the pad corresponds to 1 16th note of a bar. At the moment, my pattern length is one bar of music. And now the same thing on the RS7000. Press the mixer button once and use the left encoder to select the drum programs. Then select the drum kit using the third encoder, in this case the house kit. And now press the record button. Press the pattern button once and select a step sequencer using the second encoder. Then press play to start editing and use the second encoder to set the note length. I'm using eighth notes here for my simple dance floor beat. Now we need a bass track. Starting on the MPC I'll use the monophonic bass synth for this track. Here I'm adding a new track and add the synth plugin. The patch is named Octave Saw. I'll record this manually. And as I'm lazy I'll just play some drawn out notes and I'll be using the ducking compressor to add an offbeat rhythm to this. Ok, it's time for the sidechain compressor. On the track mix screen I'll add the ducking compressor to the bass track and the compressor control to the drum track. And after a bit of tweaking the compressor parameters, we'll end up with this result. Thank you. 
On the RS7000 there is no side chaining compressor, but we can work around that by applying a square wave LFO controlling loudness and filter frequency, which is in sync to the beat and out of phase by 180 degrees. Again, I start by selecting a bass sound and recording drawn out notes. Then, I add the LFO and set it to sync to the tempo of the track. On both systems it's possible to record automation, that means you can record the movement of the controller knobs. On the MPC it just hit that strange icon in the right top corner of the screen and then press play. You can later adjust the controller movement and the grid view. On the RS7000 just record in overdub mode. You can add as many controller movements as you like. Here I'm recording the filter frequency changes on this arpeggiated sound. I'll also add an electric piano using the MPC's EP plugin and an EP from the RS7000's band instruments section. So now let's add some vocal samples. I thought about writing some lyrics and singing them myself, but then I realized there's already a vocal take that fits in perfectly. It only has to be adjusted to the tempo of this track and transposed down by three semitones. I'll sample the vocal track from an audio recorder using the audio injects of both machines. And in order to avoid copyright issues, I can't play back the original audio track here. You'll hear it once I apply the time stretching and transposing. Both machines are able to start recording once the loudness surpasses a specified value. Ok, the sample is in, now I can press the sample edit button. On the bottom right corner of the screen now press the process button. And now I'll apply normalization, time stretching and pitch change to the sample. And please note it's possible to specify the beats per minute on the time stretch dialog. The original song is 124 beats per minute, while my track is 120 beats per minute, so let's adjust that accordingly. Ok, now all you need to do is to assign this sample to a pad. Select an empty track in the main menu, then select the pad program in the middle row of the screen and then press assign sample. Press a pad and tap the name of your sample on the screen and now return to the main screen and press play and then tap the pad whenever needed.
Okay, and here's the same thing on the RS7000. Press the standby button and then set the type to pitched voice on the left encoder. I'll capture this track in mono. Press the OK button and adjust the auto start loudness and then press the standby button once again and then start the sample playback. Okay, that sample is in. Now press the sample edit button three times to access the sample editing functions and apply time stretching and pitch adjustment. Note, it's necessary to confirm your adjustments by tapping the create button after your sample has been modified. Also, note it isn't possible how to specify the beats per minute, so we'll have to do the math ourselves and stretch the audio by 103%. And now that it's done, we can go back to our pattern editor, press the mixer button and select our sample as an instrument and once again start playback and hit the key whenever appropriate. Here's a comparison how the time stretch and transposed vocals sound like first MPC, then RS7000. So yeah, that was the comparison between the RS7000 uh, from 20 years ago and uh, the Akai MPC-1, which is a recent uh, synthesizer workstation or groove box. What do you think? Which one do you think uh, do you like better? Please write it in the comments below. And um, yeah, if you found this interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel and give a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and see you again next week or so. Bye bye.